Does it look like it's got any re weird wear on like the sides of the There's a engine? giant hole. There's a big hole. <laughs> So today we're taking the pistons out, but I have to be honest, there was a little bit of underthinking and a little bit of overthinking, but I'll get to that later. We got started by flipping the engine over for the very first time. It was so cool. Let's see if we can, oh, nice and easy. So we just flipped the engine and now we're going to take off the oil pan and I think that we can remove all the bolts with a half inch. And I bet you they are 7 sixteenths. And? Half inch. A. <gasps> no. Tell everyone what we just discovered. I don't want to. I'll go ahead and tell them. I don't want to. You weren't totally wrong, but neither was I. So come on, fess up. Only the corners are half. Dad was right for the rest. Yes, the the corner bolts for the oil pan are half, but these guys, what are they? Seven sixteenths. It's not, very, yeah, I don't need for me to be in there. Hold it nice and flat. Yeah. That's loose on this side, too. That's cool. Seven mains. Pretty sweet, huh? It's really cool. How does the oil pan look? Is it real sludgy? Yeah, see that's, that. I'm, I was looking for like thick gunk. Oh. That looks good. I was expecting to see more sludge in the engine. It was so cool to finally see the inside of my engine. So the next day it was time to get the pistons out and I started off by doing a little more cleaning. So before when we tried to clean the pistons, I had WD-40 and plastic brush. But we saw another YouTuber use PowerTune, um, and we tried it out a little bit, and it worked a lot better. And we're using the Scotch Bright pads um, because we can get in a little like little crevices better than we can with a plastic brush. Probably way too much. No, I think you're okay. I think you're ready. Okay, so they're not fabulous, but they're going to do for right now. And thanks to Old Car Alley for the recommendation on the power tune because it worked a lot better than WD-40. You guys go check them out on YouTube. And now we get to take the pistons out. So before we take the pistons out, we're going to mark the orientation of the rod cap so we put them back in the right, the right way. Um, and then we're going to mark the pistons with the puncher so that we know which piston goes where. I never thought I'd get to see your rod caps. So 
So we just got all of our rod caps marked. So we're just gonna take the pistons out one at a time, mark them, look at them, see what they look like, and then we'll be good. Give it a shot. That was not hard. That one was hard. Okay, so now we're gonna see what it, if I can get it off. Apparently I can. That's so cool. They look really good. If I don't drop them. Kind of rub your finger over the surface of that bearing. Does it look like it has any real spots where it's like worn or looks real different in any spot or is the wearing kind of even? No, it seems pretty even. So, uh, what happened? I was playing with it and it started moving. And the piston started coming out? So now, you, now you're stuck pushing and catching? Kind of. All right, just be careful right there. This is what we don't want it to rub on okay. is the sides of the crankshaft. So okay. <laughs> let's see if you can berth your piston. All right, here's what we're gonna do. So you ready? It's coming! <laughs> Keep breathing, keep breathing. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna kinda, okay. I think I, think I can just push it out. So I'm gonna hold this okay, in the middle. it's coming. <laughs> okay, you ready? Keep going. Oh! It's alive! <laughs> it's a, it's a piston. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's number six. It's so gorgeous, it's so beautiful. It's out! Woohoo! Alright, let's see it. Nice. Dad, you have a grand piston. <laughs> <laughs> so this is piston six. So we're gonna mark it with a six like you would find on a dice, just so that we hundred percent know which piston goes where. <laughs> So that's not number six, let's do the rest. Uh-huh. Here it comes. Oh, it's got it. coming! Whoa. Okay. Do you want to try to do one by yourself? Yeah. Look, it's more of like a silver color instead of that like. Your bearing, you left your bearing on there. I don't know what. Oh, that's why it looks all weird. That's why it's not the same oh. color. Never mind. <laughs> this looks good. Looks good. I mean, it looks like, it looks like these two. We're smart. <laughs> Voila! How's that bearing looking? Looks real good. Which piston is this? Two. Number one was a lot harder to get out than any of the others. So me and my dad both did it. So that's why it wasn't filmed. Um, and it looks pretty good. So we don't really know why it was so hard to get out. If y'all know, tell us, but. So for those of you who are screaming at the television or furiously typing on your computer, stop. We didn't know what a cylinder ridge was, but we do now, and you can definitely feel it with your fingernail, especially on number one, but there was no piston damage, and we didn't really have to tap them out that hard, but we're, we will rent a cylinder reamer very soon and take care of all of that. So that was a little bit of underthinking. Then we went to the overthinking. When we were labeling the pistons, 
we did not realize that Ford had the exact same idea as us. I feel like they cheated off us of off of us, but that's a debate for later. They apparently, without telling us, labeled the piston and the cap on one side so you can only put it together one way. So, way to go Ford. I guess way to go us. And great minds think alike. So, what I'm taking out of the garage this week is that we make mistakes. And sometimes we overthink and sometimes we underthink. But in the end, nothing is unfixable. And I'm just going to learn from all the mistakes I've made this week.